Welcome to the online course, The Theory of the SCA Coffee Value Assessment. The intention of this course is to give you the theoretical background on which the coffee value assessment was built. A coffee assessment like ours includes elements of economics, sensory science, and coffee history. Over the next eight videos, we'll be exploring the rationale behind the CVA, the history that got us here, and the research that supports it. Now, in the early coffee industry, coffee quality was generally measured by appearance only. This changed in the late 1800s when Clarence Bickford, a coffee trader from San Francisco, began to promote a new idea, that coffee should be tasted before purchase to measure its quality and estimate its value. This new practice of cup testing, which would eventually become cup tasting and then just cupping, was largely restricted to green coffee traders and roasters for the next hundred years or so. But of course, little by little, the landscape continued to shift. By the time we got to the mid 1970s, the specialty coffee movement was just beginning to emerge. This brought renewed interest to the idea of cupping, but it would take at least another 10 years, 1984 or so, before this was expanded and codified by Ted Lingle in the Coffee Cupper's Handbook. This was a paradigm shift for our industry. The Coffee Cupper's Handbook integrated new ideas from the relatively new scientific field, developing to understand and apply sensory analysis to the then century old practice of cupping. It introduced a systematized approach, but it was also aspirational. It offered a vision of a world where coffees could score 100 points if they were the best of the best. It would take another 15 years or so to take shape as the SCA's cupping protocol and system in 1999, which would then settle about five years later in 2004. So in 2004, a new cupping system and new cupping form were introduced, which would be used roughly for the next 20 years. In 2021, the SCA embarked on a project to evaluate and revise the 2004 cupping system. So we began our research. And in our research, we learned that the specialty coffee industry had gone from knowing just a few things about a coffee to knowing and valuing many things about a coffee. We also learned that in the 2004 form, there just isn't enough space to capture the wider range of attributes, especially extrinsic or informational attributes that we value now. And even more importantly, None of that information about how a coffee tastes, about who produced it and where, anything about what we really love and appreciate about a coffee gets reflected in that single number, the total cupping score. It's sort of like a low res photo of a painting and trying to turn it into a single pixel. Try describing that painting based on that single pixel. It's pretty difficult, right? All those subtle colors, the shading, the texture, all that nuance get lost. To give a complete sense of the picture, we must have a more complete sense of the information of that coffee. The coffee value assessment is designed to provide that increased level of information about a coffee. So in 2023, the SCA introduced a new tool, the coffee value assessment, to expand the cupping system into a more high resolution assessment system for coffee. There are four elements of the coffee value assessment, which we'll explore individually in subsequent videos. Mm -hmm.